Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below, I subscribed, and you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. On today's video, we will be looking at super cool fun facts about the Pawn Stars that you may have not known about. Some of these facts may shock you, so stay tuned. You probably think that Richard Harrison earned his old man nickname due to the fact that he was 68 years old when Bond Stars started filming, but you'd be wrong. For reasons unknown, Harrison actually has been called the old man since he was 38 years old. Maybe because he was just an old soul at heart, he was known on the series for his occasional grumpy but always loving demeanor. Sadly, Harrison died in June 2018 after a long battle with Parkinson's disease, and fans will miss his presence on the screen as well as the ultimate voice of reason. His son Rick Harrison, who also stars in the show, paid a very emotional public tribute to his late father. He was my hero, and I was fortunate to get a very cool old man as my dad that I also got to share with so many others. One thing is for sure, he will be dearly missed by the Pawn Star viewers for years to come. Chum Lee has starred in over 272 episodes of Pawn Stars and has been one of the main cast members of the reality series for years. However, according to Corey, Chum Lee was not supposed to be a featured character on the series at all. Early on in the filming of the show, they decided to put him in a few scenes anyway, and the show producers ended up loving him. Also, for those not in the know, Chum Lee's real name is actually Austin Russell, quite a different moniker for his real name. His nickname came from his father, who chose it after the animated walrus sidekick to Tennessee Tuxedo. As the name suggests, Chum Lee, in the show, he is often used as comic foil, but does possess expertise in pinball machines, sneakers, and video games. However, there was nothing funny about Chum Lee's arrest in 2016 for possession of illegal narcotics. Pawn shops turn up all kinds of odds and ends. As places that hand out loans using personal property as collateral, they are sometimes associated with desperate people trying to get some fast cash. In his autobiography, Rick said that the reason viewers always see more sales than in pawn shops on the show is because the vast majority of people who pawn things at their shop don't want to be seen on TV. After Pawn Stars began to air, the popularity of the series increased business so much that the Harrisons had to hire 30 new employees and expand their showroom to 15,000 square feet to meet demand. This also meant that customer traffic to the shop tripled, resulting in the Harrisons having to buy an extra car park and ordering customers to stand in line outside in order to prevent overcrowding. Fans of the show will remember the striking Jim Morrison painting, which can be seen on one of the wall shops. It was actually painted by the famous speed artist Denny Dent, who had performed at Woodstock festivals and Las Vegas casinos. The painting was on sale for $20,000 at one point in the show, but later episodes added a not for sale sign to it. Funny enough, employees for Left Field Pictures, who produced the show, discovered the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop when they were in Las Vegas for a bachelor party. And it's a good job they did. Left Field made a highlight reel and showed it to the History Channel on a Friday. It was picked up the following Tuesday, one of the fastest times a series has ever been picked up by a producer. With that said, this will bring us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, once again, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below saying I subscribed, and again, you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.